Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to episode 35 of my Logic Pro 10 video tutorial series. In this episode, we'll take a look at the MIDI transform window, which essentially allows us to batch process uh, MIDI data. So we can select a whole uh, range uh, of MIDI uh, notes or other types of events, and we can transform them all basically in a couple key presses. Um, so this really expedites um, editing, uh, editing MIDI, uh, particularly with things like the velocity of notes, the pitch of notes, and the length of notes. Um, the way to get to the MIDI, um, the MIDI transform window is Command-9. Uh, in Logic 9, it was actually Command-4, not Command-9. So we'll come back to that in just a moment, but uh, let me just show you the, the musical example we're working with. Um, just has uh, basic strings that have uh, been uh, transformed with an arpeggiator plugin, uh, an FM bass, some funky keys, and a drum kit. So let's see what uh, let's see what this sounds like. All right, nothing special. Uh, let's start with the strings down here. Let me just open these up in the Piano Roll Editor. Uh, notice that I have selected the actual uh, region that I want to work with. Uh, this is going to come in, um, well, this is going to be important later, so I'll talk about that when, uh, when the time comes. Um, so right now uh, in this uh, region here, I have a bunch of different velocities for our strings. Um, they're all kind of shades of yellow and yellowish green. Uh, it basically means we have a bunch of different velocities. So what if I want to make all of these notes the same velocity? I did show you in a previous video how you can use the velocity tool to set everything to the same value. But one advantage of using the MIDI transform to do this is that you can type in uh, the exact velocity value that you want. So that's what I'm going to do. The way you can open up the transform window without using command nine, at least from the uh, piano roll editor, is you can go to functions, MIDI transform. The advantage of going to this window is that it actually opens up a number of MIDI transform presets. Um, to be honest, not all of them are, are really that useful. Um, and I'm not going to go over all of them. I'm just going to go over the basic ones. Uh, I'll probably go over fixed uh, velocity, uh, double speed, half speed, transposition, um, and fixed note length. Those are really the ones that are are the most uh, the most useful. So this is not a complete tutorial on the MIDI transform window. This is just an overview essentially. So I'm going to choose fixed velocity because that's what I want to do. I want to fix all of the velocities of the notes. And what you'll see are a series of conditions up on top here. You have uh, the note position, status, the channel. Uh, pitch, velocity, length, and subposition. And then the second um, row here are the operations based on the, uh, the events that you've selected, that you've selected. Now you can either manually select them or you can actually select them by the condition. So right now our condition is that the events that we're selecting are notes. That's why it says status equals a note. The status, uh, the actual referring to the status byte of the of each uh, MIDI note is a note. You know, there's other types of messages, uh, MIDI messages besides notes. Uh, so you have things like polyphonic channel pressure, channel pressure, control changes, program changes, and pitch bend. So there's other types of MIDI messages you can transform, but notes are typically the most common. And then the operation that we're going to apply based on that condition is we're going to fix the velocity to 100. So basically what this means is all MIDI messages that are notes will have their velocities fixed to 100. So you can double click on this and type in whatever you want. I'm going to type in 80. And then you can say select only. And what this does is it selects the events based on the conditions up here. So basically all notes, you can see they're all selected. And then you choose operate only. And what you'll see is now all of the notes are the same color. They all have a velocity of 80. Now, what if I wanted to say all notes higher than, I don't know, D3. I want those notes to be at a different velocity than the notes lower than D3. 
Well, what you have to do is just add another condition. Now, by default, when you choose one of these presets, um, it automatically hides the unused parameters. So I'm going to uncheck this. It's going to say this is a protected transform parameter preset. Sure, that's fine. Um, and I'm going to say I want to now affect, uh, affect notes that are notes, um, events that are notes. And I want to affect notes that have a, a pitch that is greater than or equal to D3. So you just type it in. You can type in any value there. And now when I choose select only, watch what happens. It only selects the notes that are higher than D3. So this is what I was talking about. This is the advantage of the transform windows that you can batch process uh, MIDI notes based on a selection that is based on the conditions that you set. So now when I, um, uh, let's change this instead of 80, let's change this to 100. And we hit operate. And now all the notes higher than D3 are at 100 and all the notes lower than D3 are at 80. You could also just hit select and operate instead of doing them separately, but I like to hit them separately just so I can see what I'm selecting and then uh, apply the operation. So let's try this with another, another instrument here. Let's go to the funky keys here. These uh, sound like this. So we've got a combination of long notes and short notes. All the velocities are already the same, so we don't have to worry about that. But what if I want to fix all of these notes to a certain velocity? Maybe I want more of a staccato sound, maybe a shorter sound. Uh, well, that's another one of the other presets that we can work with here. Um, so let me go to Functions, MIDI Transform, and this time we're going to go to the Fixed Note Length preset. Let me hide the unused parameters. And you'll see once again, our condition is just in all notes. But this time the operation is we're going to set the length and fix it to 0010. What the heck does that mean? Um, 0010 refers to the number to the bar beat division and tick length of each note that we're so we're basically defining the length of each note here so 0010 means that we would be fixing every note to zero bars zero beats one division and right now the division of my grid is a 16th note and zero ticks so that means all of the notes are going to be one 16th note in length so if we hit select and then operate you'll see that all the notes are exactly 1 16th note in length. Um, if I roll this up to, say, 2, actually, that's 3. Let's go to 2. There we go. 2, that means that there are going to be 2 16th notes in length, which basically means they're all going to be an eighth note. So you can also just double click on this and type in any value you want. So if I want this to be 0 bars, you type in 0, then put a space. Uh, one beat, space, one division, space, and I don't know, I'll just make up a number, 37 ticks. You just separate each value with a space. And now if I hit uh, operate, all the notes are basically one bar or one beat, uh, one, di uh, one division, and 37 ticks in length. Let's make these really, really short. I'm just going to type in zero, zero, zero. And then I'm going to type in basically a 32nd note. Now, um, you may recall that there are 960 ticks per beat. Um, so that means in an eighth note, there'd be 480. In a 16th note, there would be 240. So if I want these to be a 32nd note, we have to divide that in half again. So I'm going to say 120. So now all of my notes will be 120 ticks long. And so we have just a really super staccato uh, thing going on here now. So let's see what this sounds like. Now, I like that, but I'm going to put a little delay on it just to kind of bring it out a little bit. Let's use the uh, stereo delay. Now, let's say that this, uh, this idea is just a little too fast. Uh, maybe I want it to be, you know, half speed or double speed or something like that. 
Uh, one of the things that you can do, one of the other presets under functions here, is half speed and double speed. Half speed basically takes the MIDI data and stretches it out by a factor of two. Double speed is going to shrink it down by a factor of two. So you can basically make things play half speed or double speed without actually having to adjust the tempo of the song. So I'm gonna try half speed for this. The thing that's tricky about half speed is that um, it's both a position change. So we can say, you know, the, the, the operation is gonna be position multiplied by two. And the length is also multiplied by two. So my my 32nd notes here are actually going to become 16th notes because they're also going to be stretched by a multiple of two. So let's try this out. I hit select only and hit operate. And you'll see all the notes uh, basically got um, the, the whole idea got stretched out uh, by a factor of two. And all the notes got, dealt, uh, got stretched out by a factor of two. The only problem here, this is the other tricky thing, is that... Um, Let's go back. You can see that the whole idea here, the original idea, I just un, un, undid that, it was four bars in length. So by stretching that thing, that whole thing out, we're actually making this be eight bars in length. So you actually have to compensate out here and make the, um, by uh, having half speed, uh, by making this half speed, you actually have to double the length of the region. So I'm gonna go back to piano roll now and do what I just did, functions, MIDI transform, half speed, hit operate, and you'll see now that the um, the original idea takes up the entire eight bar phrase here. So now we have this. And likewise, you can double speed as well, which does the exact opposite. So we go to functions, MIDI transform, double speed. And now this is gonna say, we're dividing the position in half and dividing the length in half. So we say select all or select only and operate. And we're actually, we're basically just back to what we had uh, before. So I can just trim this up, loop it out a couple times, and there we go. Um, other MIDI transform uh, features that are, are kind of useful, uh, transpose. Transpose is nice because um, it basically doesn't require you to, uh, to click on a note and move it up or down. I did show you that in a, in a previous video that you can actually uh, hold option and bump and press up or down your keyboard or shift option uh, for octaves to transpose things. This is just another way to do it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of my instruments that actually uh, tonally matter that have to do with harmony or melody. The drums really don't matter here. I'll open these up in piano roll and just um, again go to functions, MIDI transform, transposition. And I'll choose. So here, here, here basically it's saying pitch is we're going to add or we can subtract semitones. So right now it looks like we're kind of in the key of C ish. I think it's C minor. Uh, what if I want to go up to D? Well, we would add two semitones. So just double click here and type in two. So add two semitones, select only, hit operate. Everything gets bumped up two semitones. Um, to be honest, this, this one's only useful to a lesser extent than the others because like I said before, you can just hold option and press up or down to bump everything up or down. So that's always that's always another option. Um, let me show you one more. Let's go to the session base here. Actually, it's the FM base. Let me just quantize all these notes. I think they're quantized already, but I'm just gonna quantize them again. Um, one of the things that you can do, uh, this works more better for like, you know, acoustic drums, uh, if you've got like a sampled acoustic drum kit or something like that. Uh, but one of the other functions that's, that's somewhat useful is the humanize function. Uh, what humanize does is it randomizes the position, the velocity, and the length by a factor of 10. 
Uh, and actually, the position of the length are by a factor of 10 ticks, and velocity is basically by, I think, 10, uh, 10 velocity numbers. So if I select and operate these, you'll see that all the notes have a slightly varied velocity, and also the length and position of the notes have been slightly varied. The more you click on this, the more you click operate, the more the notes are going to be uh, varied. So this works really well for like sampled acoustic drums. If you're trying to make your sampled acoustic drum set sound a little more uh, human, or maybe like a piano part that you you know that you typed in note by note, chord by chord, um, it can just kind of make the recording the MIDI recording sound a little more human. Um, one other one last thing I want to show you here is you'll notice that in the bass part, some of the notes are short, some of the notes are long. What if I just want to affect the short notes. Well, we can do that too. You can say, um, and actually what I'm going to do is, um, well, we're going to have to basically create our own, um, our own operation and own, our own condition here. So what I'm going to say is I want all notes that have a length, and I'm going to unhide the parameters here, that have a length that is, I'm going to say less than or equal to and you type in a value. Um, I'm going to say a length that's less than two divisions. Um, I don't want to affect its position, so I'm going to say through. Through basically bypasses the uh, the condition or the operation. Uh, I'm also going to say for velocity through. But for length, I want to make them all um, 0, 0, 1, 0. Oh. So basically a 16th note. So this means that all notes that are less than uh, two divisions will now be transformed to one division. So if I hit select only, you'll see that only the short notes have been selected, while the long notes haven't. And then I'll hit operate, and all of those uh, short notes will have, uh, have been, oh, I chose randomize. <laughs> That's not what you want. We want fix. There we go. Now it makes sense. Yeah, you got to make sure you have the right uh, the right uh, operation there. So I want to fix to 0010. Zero, zero, zero. So select only, operate. So now all of our short notes are all 1 16th note in length. And there we go. So that's the uh, MIDI transform window in a nutshell. Uh, like I said before, this is just an overview of that window. Uh, the transform window actually has many, many other deep um, MIDI batch pro processing functions that we didn't cover. So this is, again, just an overview. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks again for watching.